We have these people. They are kids or extremely short. They're here to sing. <laughs> or middle-aged couple that take extremely good care of themselves. <laughs> Great diets, that kind of thing. Their names are Doug and Diana. They are the Mitchell twins. And here pretending to accompany them on the clarinet, of course, is our own happy kind. Maestro, kick it off. Who's a love daddy with the beautiful eyes? What a pair of lips, I'd like to try it for size. I'll just tell her, baby, won't you swing it with me? Hope he tells you, baby, what a wing it will be. So I said politely, darling, may I intrude? He said, don't keep me waiting when I'm in the mood. First I held him lightly and we started to dance. Then I held him tightly, what a dreamy romance. And I said, oh, baby, it's a quarter to three. There's a mess of the to share it with me. Well, he answered, baby, don't you know that it's rude to keep my two lips waiting when they're in the mood? In the mood That's what he told me In the mood And when he told me In the mood My heart was skipping It didn't take me long to say I'm in the mood Now in the mood <laughs> Happy Happy, why don't you come and join him too? Come on over here. You were part of that. You certainly were. We pretended to accompany them, and we all pretended to watch. We pretended to enjoy it. That's right. I'm sure everyone's wanting to know, um, how old are you folks? I'm 12. I'm 13. I'm 40. <laughs> well, all I can say is that was quite a number, and... Uh, Kind of curious, you, you, you're young kids, 12 and 13, and you'd expect you'd maybe come out and do something like the Osmond family or something like that, ah. some of the modern stuff. You do that old song there, In the Nude, uh, Mood. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Um, you know, I expected something like from Kiss or Led Zeppelin or the Rolling Stones, something a little more, more modern, and I'm kind of surprised you would do In the Mood. But well, like... I think it's great, because uh, today the trend seems to be for everything that's hip and today and now. You know, I mean, now is great, but what about then? What about the old times? I remember a few years ago, all the dances that were popular, right. and they're not popular anymore. I mean, you try to get up on a dance floor and do the twist in this day and age, and you get laughed off the floor. <laughs> That's all I want to say, but... But what about politics? What about Richard Nixon? Sure, he has a bad leg. What about Franklin Roosevelt? He was in a wheelchair, and he wasn't even being accused of anything. <laughs> say is K Sarah Sarah out of sight out of mind and that, that is not right no it's not well as you see I'm not much of a talker but you know there's a poem wait a minute there's a poem there's a poem I found just about a year ago that, that expresses this better than I could and I wonder if could I read this <laughs> <laughs> Wild horses couldn't stop you, huh, Jerry? Probably quicker than a 77 Pinto. <laughs> it says it better than I think I could, though. I'm sure of that. Yeah. Kids, you should listen to this, too, because you'll, you'll, you'll grow old. As... Remember me, remember me, when I have passed away. Remember that I lived and died, as you will, too, one day. If I can write these few short lines, it will not be in vain. If after I am dead and gone, you still recall my name, remember me. And I think it's wow, well, Jerry, that's actually actually uh, that's actually very pretty. Who wrote it? Who wrote it? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Who knows? It's an old poem. Probably some old guy dead and gone. <laughs> okay, speaking of dying, uh, we'll be right back after these words. <laughs> 